Hey y'all and welcome back to the Winning Wednesday podcast. I am your host Geneva Brown and today's episode is called Direct Paths. So following a set of instructions can be difficult for many of us when we can't clearly see the full plan. We have this unacknowledged desire to always want to be in control. So when someone gives us an instruction without clear directions, we struggle to follow them. So in following a path, it requires a certain level of faith and trust. And so God has called us all to do two things, and that is to follow and to serve. So recently, I have been binge watching a television series called The Chosen on Netflix, which tells about Jesus's ministry. It gives us a bird's eye view of the miracles he completed while he was on earth, his teachings, and how he called the the disciples to follow him. So Jesus knew the direct paths of the disciples calling, but they did not. And in each of the encounters with the 12, Jesus's teachings drew them to follow him. And that's the same with us today. Jesus is always teaching us something. We follow his teachings and as he's teaching, he calls us, which leads us to serving him and others. He calls us to follow him because he knows the way. So when you think about the characters of the 12 disciples, they were all so different yet relatable. And that is why I believe that Jesus may have selected them so that we can see that God's love is universal. So let's take a look at the 12 disciples and their paths to follow Jesus. The first one is Simon, also or later called Peter. He was a lover of God. He loved God. He loved Jesus. He had great faith. He was outspoken, yet he could be very impulsive and emotional at times. But above all, he had passion for spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. He was also in Jesus's closest inner circle. So think about that for a moment. A person who is impulsive, emotional, yet passionate is in Jesus's inner circle. Are you impulsive, emotional, passionate? Then you too can be close to Jesus. And then there's Andrew, the brother to the popular Simon Peter. He was actually the first person to follow Jesus after he was baptized by John. Andrew is the one who led Simon to Jesus, who would become the leader of the 12. And so while he stayed in the background, content with soaking up the knowledge that Jesus taught him, he had a hunger for the truth. He was content with being in the background, even though he was the first to follow and led the leader of the 12 to Jesus. Are you a content background person? Then there's James and his brother, John. They were also in Jesus's inner circle with Simon. Jesus gave them the nickname, the Sons of Thunder, for their powerful voice and tone in delivering the gospel. They both could be known for having tempers and being quick to be angry, But despite that, Jesus loved them both, especially John. And if you naturally have a loud voice, a loud tone, when you're speaking about something you're passionate about, and then maybe sometimes you can be angry about uh, in your way of delivering things, that's okay because Jesus loves and calls you as well. Next is Philip. Philip was a great encourager and motivator who longed for the truth of who God is, which led him to Jesus. 
Are you a person who desires to know the truth about life and is a great motivator? Then you too are called. Nathaniel, also or known as Bartholomew, was skeptical when Philip wanted to introduce him to Jesus. But the moment Jesus spoke to him, revealing to him that he knew exactly who he was, he became a devoted follower. Has God revealed something to you about yourself that no one else could know? Then you too are called. Matthew, the despised tax collector by his own people because of his profession, came to follow Jesus just by hearing him say, follow me. Matthew, he longed to be accepted and loved, especially by his own people. He felt in his heart Jesus's love for him. And that's what drew him. Those two words, follow me. Then there's Thomas. He was known as the doubter who struggled in his faith in Jesus Christ. One minute he was all in and others he was not. But he soon realized that Jesus is faithful and will help him through his doubts. So if you struggle and if you have doubts, Jesus is calling you to. James the Lesser, not much is really known about him. He was an obscure man, yet he followed and loved Jesus. So even in your obscurity or areas known or unknown, God knows all about those. And Jesus knows those too. And he still chooses to call you. Simon the Zealot is a mysterious man, but we know that the most important thing is that he was a follower of Jesus Christ. So like James the Lesser, it does not matter if you are a mystery to some, you are no mystery to Jesus. He calls the mysterious as well. Next is Thaddeus, also known as Jude. He is one of the last of the three unknown disciples who was known to be gentle, humble, and tender-hearted. And then finally, Judas is a cart, the last of the 12 who betrayed Jesus. And I believe the lesson that we can learn from his following is that we can all start off following Jesus with good intentions. But if we are not careful, we can allow the world to creep in and deceive us, causing us to turn away from God. This shows us that Jesus calls us all because his word says that he wishes that none of us would perish. So in considering each of the unique following of the 12 disciples, it is not hard to find yourself in the eyes or in the characters of one or more of them. None of them knew the path or what their paths would even look like when they accepted Jesus's call to follow him. The point of today's word is that we all have been chosen to follow a direct path to Jesus. Our paths may look different. They may look the same. It doesn't matter. What matters most is that we follow Jesus. So even when we doubt, even if we have anger issues, even if we feel unworthy, the Father knows and wants to use our lives to help others. There is no need to feel ashamed when we are not the model Christian. We can repent and ask the Lord to help us follow him again. So here's your weekly challenge. Ask yourself this question. Has Jesus been calling you to follow him? And I mean truly follow him. Follow his path. Follow his way of life. Follow him even when it doesn't seem clear. Even when it doesn't seem easy. Even though you may be talked about. Even when it's difficult. Even when you're going to have to stand apart and stand out and stand alone. 
So if he has been calling you, have you accepted his call? And then if you have accepted his call, are you serving him? And are you serving others by following him? I have found through following God, even when I can't fully understand or see the path before me, I have found great peace in my life. And that peace has caused me to serve him. That is the Winning Wednesday word. Thank you all for joining me. And I will see y'all in the next one.